management of hypertensive disorders in pregnancy okay this video i'm going to talk about management of hypertensive disorders in pregnancy whether it, uh, whether it is uh, preeclampsia okay or preeclampsia or even uh, uh, hyper chronic hypertensive tension in pregnancy i will start with the most important preeclampsia okay to uh, manage preeclampsia first for you have to know whether it is mild or severe preeclampsia in the because the management is different mild and severe preeclampsia if it is mild preeclampsia then we have to look is it term does the uh, patient reach, uh, reach the term or no is it preterm in the case of a preterm mild preeclampsia what what do we want it is a mild preeclampsia so it is not that dangerous uh, at that time okay and it is preterm so we afraid we afraid from the prematurity of the baby so we have to balance between the preeclampsia dangerosity and the preterm or prematurity uh, effect okay so the management in the mild preeclampsia patient is preterm is expectant management just an expectant management okay and it's the most employed management for preterm mild preeclampsia. <clears throat> what do we mean by expectant management? Most of the time, we treat these patient uh, patients as inpatient, okay? Unless they are, uh, it, she is very stable patient with nothing, okay? Then we can treat it as outpatient with a close follow-up, of course, uh, and laboratory and fetal tests and the blood pressure monitoring okay we have to do close for it, uh, follow up if we want to treat it as outpatient in mild preeclampsia again what is expected management it is beta metazone okay to uh, for surfactant lung maturity okay and mgso4 magnesium sulfate uh, as a prophylaxis, a prophylaxis for uh, eclampsia uh, often it is not used but uh, mainly it is used okay sometimes it's not used but when we use it uh, we use four gram as a loading dose and one gram per hour as a maintenance dose okay so mg is four magnesium surface given as a prophylaxis and we should continue magnesium sulfate even after delivery okay after uh, within 12 to 24 hours after uh, the patient has delivered the baby okay we continue uh, magnesium sulfate administration so pitamethazone and magnesium sulfate okay this is in preterm patient we use expectant management until we reach term when we reach term we induce labor induction of labor okay and we try vaginal delivery unless we have other obstetric indications we move to cesarean section delivery so at term we deliver the patients with preeclampsia uh, with mild preeclampsia by induction of labor at 37 weeks we induce labor and try vaginal delivery unless we have other obstetric indications we move to so this is treatment of mild preeclampsia. What, uh, what about the treatment of severe preeclampsia? What are the goals of treatment of severe preeclampsia? It is a severe preeclampsia, so we have first of all to stabilize the blood pressure. We have to control the blood pressure because in severe preeclampsia we have above 160 to 90 uh, to sorry 160 to 110 blood pressure so we have to control blood pressure we have to prevent the occurrence of clampsia and we have to deliver the baby the uh, the only treatment for severe preeclampsia is the delivery of the baby it's, it is the ultimate goal of treatment of severe preeclampsia so we have a patient with severe preeclampsia first the first thing to do is to stabilize the patient how to stabilize the patient by controlling blood pressure with hydralazine the most used okay mgso4 to prevent eclampsia and labetalol 
also is used to control uh, high blood pressure. So hydralazine and labetalol to control blood pressure in severe preeclampsia and MGSO4 magnesium sulfate to prevent eclampsia. So we have stabilized the patient then what to do? We have to look at the gestational age. In the patients with gestational age of about 24 to 32 weeks, okay, we move to expectant management. Why? To give time to pentamethasone to maturate the liver. Okay, so in between 24 and 32, we have to move to expectant management. But above 32 weeks, okay, or in patient with a severe symptoms of preeclampsia like CNS uh, convulsions, eclampsia for example, pulmonary edema, uh, increase in liver function test or liver uh, toxicity, renal uh, failure, okay, or HELP syndrome, thrombocytopenia, high liver enzymes and hemolysis, okay, DIC, all these dangerous complications. They say to you, we are a dangerous complication. So, you have after stabilizing the patient with hydralazine and levitalol and MGSO4, you have to deliver the patient immediate delivery, immediate delivery. So when we reach 32 weeks in severe preeclampsia or have these dangerous complications, we have to deliver the patient immediately. Okay, but before 32 weeks, if the patient is stabilized, then we can wait uh, until first two weeks to beta methazole to work. Okay? So immediate delivery is the ultimate treatment of preeclampsia. Okay? How to deliver? Of course, by vaginal delivery, unless we have other obstetric complications that need cesarean delivery, okay, or indicate cesarean delivery. Okay? The, do we finish treatment by, uh, by a delivery of the baby? Do we finish treatment of preeclampsia by that? No, of course, because even though delivery is the treatment or the ultimate treatment of PET, some patients will still may have symptoms of PET after delivery, okay? And that symptoms may even get worse after delivery. Why? Because a placenta antigen exposure after delivery may induce worsening the case of preeclampsia so what to do even after delivery we have to give magnesium sulfate okay 12 to 24 hours after delivery as a prophylaxis for eclampsia and we have also to control we have also to control a high blood pressure after delivery. It may still we have high blood pressure after delivery even for weeks after delivery. So we have to give antihypertensive for high blood pressure, atlabitalol and nifidibine, the calcium channel blocker uh, are most used, okay? Okay, and these are given after delivery if we have high blood pressure. So this is what we have to do in severe preeclampsia, stabilize the patient with anti blood antihypertensive drugs and uh, magnesium sulfate after stabilizing look, look at the gestational age which is between 24 and 32 we uh, wait for beta methazone to work okay until uh, if we have above 32 or we have a severe complication like cns pulmonary liver renal okay we deliver the baby by vaginal delivery uh, or cs if we have other indication for cs delivery okay and before uh, after delivery we have to treat eclampsia 12 to uh, 24 hours after delivery giving uh, magnesium sulfate or if we have uh, high blood pressure we have to give antihypertensive. okay what about the treatment of eclampsia the goals of treatment of eclampsia is to manage the seizures we have okay to manage the blood pressure or to control the blood pressure and to give a prophylaxis against any further Convulsions, okay. How to stabilize the patient or the seizure? ABC, of course, airway, breathing, circulation, and then giving magnesium sulfate for the for the seizure. That's how we stabilize the patient. How do we control blood pressure with hydralazine, as we said, okay? And after stabilizing the patient, we have to deliver the baby 
in the cases of preeclampsia we have to deliver the baby of course without vaginal delivery if there is any other indications like fetal distress then we have to do cesarean section okay in the case of overdose magnesium sulfate what uh, what are the antidotes of the magnesium sulfate uh, the calcium gluconate and calcium uh, calcium glu uh, glu uh, chloride calcium gluconate and calcium chloride are the antidotes for magnesium sulfate okay this uh, this is the treatment of hypertension disorders in pregnancy oh, what about the chronic hypertension how to treat it if it is well controlled and i mean by well controlled blood pressure uh, below than one, uh, 140 to 90 then we manage expectantly okay by just observing the patient and monitor the blood pressure if the patient uh, have a uh, patient has uncontrolled blood pressure above 140 to 90 or persistently elevated blood pressure okay or the patient uh, is on uh, already on uh, antihypertensive drugs like labitalol and ifedibine then we continue giving the patient these drugs okay we continue giving these drugs or we give uh, labitalol and nifidibine to control uncontrolled uh, hypertension in a pregnancy okay and by this i end uh, the subject and i end preeclampsia and hypertension disorders in pregnancy thank you very much for watching uh, see you in the next video